It's winning starts in the African Cup of Nations for the Liverpool boys as Sadio Mane saves Senegal with a stoppage time strike and Naby Keita leads Guinea to victory. Hello everyone and welcome to the AFCON Report on the Blood Red channel where we bring you the latest news of Liverpool's three representatives in the African Cup of Nations. Sadio Mane was the saviour for Senegal in their opening match in Group B when he smashed home a last minute penalty to snatch all three points for his nation. Opposition Zimbabwe were almost impossible to crack as their low block defence fought relentlessly to keep the waves of Senegalese attacks at bay, whilst also keeping Liverpool's frontman relatively quiet throughout the match. But deep into stoppage time, a very harsh penalty was awarded when Pape Gay's strike hit the arm of Kelvin Mazongwe, who had turned his back on the point blank strike, giving one of the tournament favourites in Senegal a lifeline. Liverpool's Sadio Mane stepped up after the long VAR check delay and thumped Thomas' penalty into the bottom left corner, sending the Zimbabwean keeper the opposite way. Though Senegal were without key players Khalidou Koulibaly and Edouard Mendy, the result was very harsh on Zimbabwe, who gave tournament hopeful Senegal much to think about. In the other match in Group B, Liverpool midfielder Naby Keita began his tournament with national team Guinea in their 1-0 win over Malawi. Guinea's talisman Keita typically ran the show and was unsurprisingly involved in his side's first goal, when he played a delightful through ball over the top to allow Mohamed Bayo to set up Isiaga Silla. It would be another Keita in the team, goalkeeper Ali Keita Bottasens, to thank for Guinea's winning start, after he produced a number of fine saves to deny Malawi. Elsewhere, Morocco beat Ghana 1-0 in Group C's first match, thanks to a late Sufyan Bufal strike. Mohamed Salah and Egypt will begin their tournament tomorrow at 4pm UK time when they take on Nigeria in a colossal opening fixture for both sides. So check back here on the Blood Red YouTube channel and the Liverpool Echo's Twitter and Facebook accounts for all the LFC AFCON news you need.